No matter the topic or where you're speaking, you will occasionally encounter difficult audience members. The good news is you're unlikely to encounter all types of disruptors in one speech. The speaker in this video must respond to several common types of disruptors. In these scenarios, focus on the strategies the speaker uses to address the interrupter, the chatterer, and the talker. How many of you have experienced fear or anxiety when you were called on to give a speech? We all do from time to time. Why? Because we're in an unknown situation where there's potential to look foolish or to embarrass ourselves. You didn't mention fear of failure. I think that can be an issue too. I know a lot of people who quit public speaking because they'd rather not try than try and fail. You're absolutely right. Fear of failure can have an impact. I'm going to talk about that a little later in the seminar. I'll make sure to leave time for questions at the end. If you would, please hold on to them and I'll address them later. When you're giving a speech, if you find yourself feeling fearful or anxious... Questions and other interruptions from the audience can cause you to stray from your topic and disrupt the flow of your speech. In this situation, the speaker was respectful of the interrupter. She directed the interrupter's attention to the agenda. She also noted that there would be a question and answer session at the end of the speech and then quickly returned to her prepared presentation. Let's see how the speaker manages another common disruptor. Next time you give a speech, Try visualizing. Visualization can be an effective way to manage anxiety. I tried that last month. I even rehearsed in the conference room and visualized When you are preparing to speak, speech. try I'm visualizing the, the speech and the environment and beforehand. one of my best speeches yet. And when you imagine something, your brain records it as a memory, providing your brain and central nervous that, system and with a visualized before. experience of, of actually giving the speech can help you mentally you prepare. So visualization can be helpful. The whole speech. <clears throat> it, was one of the it sounds like speeches. Bart has some experience with this technique. Is there something you'd like to add? No, no, I've, I've just tried it before. Maybe some of you have tried this technique before as well. A chatterer can be very disruptive, both to a speaker and to other audience members. In this scenario, the speaker used a few strategies to focus the chatterer back in the presentation. First, she paused and looked at the chatterer, giving him a chance to stop talking. When this did not stop the chatterer, the speaker walked closer to where he was seated. When the distraction continued, she addressed the chatterer directly and invited him to share. Back to the seminar. Watch how the speaker handles the third disruptor. To answer your question, practicing in front of others can help you overcome your fears, but sometimes that's not possible, so rehearsing alone is effective too. Who else has- I disagree, that's never worked for me. I always get input from other people and that's what's made me a strong speaker. Input is important, but if we always wait for others to be around, we may miss out on good opportunities to practice. Let's move on to- Well, I believe practicing alone just reinforces bad habits, that's why I would never do that. I want to know that I'm delivering my message effectively. Thank you for your input. Each person needs to choose what's best for her. Let's move on to another question. I think I saw a hand raised over here. There will often be people in the audience who think they know more about your topic than you do. The goal is to respond effectively and stay on topic. In this situation, when the talker took a breath, the speaker quickly and pleasantly acknowledged her contribution. She then moved the focus away from the talker to the rest of the audience, inviting additional questions. Today, we've seen effective strategies for responding to three different types of disruptors. Apply these techniques anytime you encounter a disruptive audience member during a speech or presentation.